Hey guys, welcome to JPT. I'm Carson G, and this is I messed that up. Anyway, so today we're going to take a look at Gnome Maps, a nice alternative app to Google Maps. Now, it's really nice. It definitely loads faster than Google Maps. You can get it straight from your app store on your Linux distribution, such as Software Manager, Synaptic Package Manager, or Ubuntu Software Center, etc. Okay, so we're going to check out this nice little software out. say if you like videos like this and you've seen some of my other videos please please subscribe it really helps out our channel and um yeah just if you haven't subscribed already please do it it would really help us out a lot anyway enough of that here we are on gnome maps a nice google maps alternative for linux using openstreetmap i really like it it's really nice I noticed that it loads faster than Google Maps, although I'm on a screen recorder so it might be a little bit slower, but it loads really, really quickly and you pretty much got the whole world with on your little laptop or your giant desktop or whatever it is in between. So let's kind of see how this thing works. So we can press this plus and zoom in. We could also just scroll could scroll in and scroll out but for me I find it more convenient to press those buttons up there and now we're zoomed in this is about 10 oh, down here you got a graph showing you in it pretty much in about an inch two inches something like that like this little area right here is 20 miles 20 miles 20 miles 20 miles stuff like that so that's really nice. Um, we could also go to here. We could go to choose map type. And right now we're on here, but we could go to this one, make it look a little more realistic. So that's kind of nice. Kind of like a mini Google Earth. A little bit. So that's pretty nice. And say I'm at this lake right here, but then I discovered. Actually, no. I have a, say I'm at this lake right here, but I discovered an ocean, and I want to go check out the ocean. Watch. I can go right-click, root from here, and I could scroll over, go to this little area right by the ocean. Or actually, I think this is a big lake. Let me let me let me see. Oh no, that's the ocean. So anyway, if we zoom back in on that, I'm going to go route 2 here. And it will take a few seconds and fetch our route. It should be up within a couple seconds. Wow, look at that. It's got a straight, well not a straight path, but it's got a path straight to where we want to go. And um, don't worry, even if your computer does not have GPS, you should, you should still be able to do this just fine, as, as long as you have internet somehow. This, I have not figured out how to download a map for offline use, but who knows, I might. So, anyway, so we're going from here to here, we can do start. And even if we don't have GPS, for example, this computer doesn't have a GPS receiver, I might get a little USB dongle GPS receiver, but for, for the time being, I don't have one. Say if I continued on to the US 395, I did that, and I turned right, and then I kept... 
left onto Clover Flat Road, and I turned right, and I did that. You can select the steps after you do them, which is really nice. So you can kind of skip forward and uh, skip, scan back, skip and scan features, skip and seek, seek, skip, whatever you want to call them. So uh, that is nice. We do have that feature. We can also set a place as a favorite. So if I want to say, if I go here, just a minute, let me like somehow get this off. I don't want that root anymore. So now, now if we close this out, hmm. So I guess we don't have favorites. I don't know why that um thing up there is black. Oh, whoopsie. I don't know why that f little favorite thing up there is black, but I'm guessing it might be for a reason. Let's say I were to go a long, long distance, and I wanted to go from here to here oh okay no root found that kinda makes sense we're going over the ocean let me see if I wanted to go from here to well no 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 I don't want to do that I'm still learning this too guys I think I might have just made a mistake let me get back out ow 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 okay so now if I want to say I'm in Alaska, brrr, it's freezing, and I want to go down to California. It did not find a route. Let's see if... Now let's see if I want to go from here to here. Hopefully, that, hopefully it can find a route. Oh, wow. It did. Oh, that's actually not very far apart. Well, okay, never mind. That's like a 400 mile, 500 mile drive. But see, we could, we could, you know, take baby steps like that. So that's kind of nice. So if you, maybe if you just want to take a scan over everything, you're just here to have fun. And let's say you're just checking out stuff. You could totally have this map mode on. Kind of nice. But, of course, if you want to actually see the street names and everything, you're going to want to go to up here, and you're going to want to select this. And we got a nice traditional map kind of thing. But we could see the routes, the names, and everything. So, um, yeah, that's kind of nice. So... Uh, those are all my thoughts on GNOME uh, I'd like to thank Maps you all for, for this. watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Make sure you turn those notifications on so you don't miss out on any of our awesome videos that we will do in the future. Anyway, that's all for now. We'll see you guys next time.